this soap is going to be pretty simple and it's going to go pretty fast and I have to work fast because it will thicken up pretty quickly so let me first stir my oils and there's a lot of hard oils in there and uh, those hard oils will really help it to be more of a moisturizing soap even though it's got the clay in there I'm going to blend the clay in there so it's really countering the oils that the clay will pull out is the basic idea this, this clay comes in a powder form and then um, this light gray powder turns to this dark liquidy clay and I had the opportunity to go not exactly swimming but soaking in the Dead Sea when I went to Jordan one year and I can attest to the fact that this silt that sinks to the bottom which is also in the water has a really unique quality to it and I know the clay alone made my skin feel really awesome so I'm kind of sold on this because I've tried it out firsthand and this is about the third or fourth time I'm making this on my videos. I make it a little differently every time, design-wise. So you would think it would be a really dark, dark soap. But once it saponifies, it turns to a nice, beautiful gray. And I'm still able to color it. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to do as much blending as I can before I get the lye solution in there. Okay, so let's get some bubbles out of there too. And soaping at about 83 degrees. So there goes my lye solution. See how much lighter it is already. And I'm going to get the essential oil blend in there. I should have brought up to temperature a little bit first because of all the hard oils in there, but it'll be okay. That is emulsified. And the clay helps it to emulsify a little more quickly. And here's my colors. I'm going to have two colors in addition to the nice gray that's going to result. And here is my dark blue. And I like the quality that the gray gives to the blue. The soft looking blue. Aqua green. This is sea green. Okay, so it thickens up pretty quickly. So I'm going to stir it in and get going. It's to 
just going to be a quick in the pot swirl and then pouring it into the mold. But I noticed I got a lot of bubbles in there. Blue in there. Give that a little stir first. It's behaving itself. I want the green on the bottom. In the mold. And just give it, give it a nice texture on top. So just a light texture. I don't want it really high peaked at all. It's a larger recipe and it's already tall enough as it is. So for packing purposes, I want it to be lower in peaks. So that's it. Told you it would go by quickly and we'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, this is ready to cut. Bring it on close to you. I like the end pieces sometimes like that. Don't really know what to expect inside. The idea was to just give this some color. Because I know it sets up fast. And everything is a little more muted because of course the Dead Sea Clay adds a bit of gray to the whole batch, but this one's more about 
the feel of the soap than anything else. So everything else is just icing on the soap. I wanted it to have the colors of water. And it's kind of appropriate that it's kind of murky looking because that's what the Dead Sea looks like. Well, that's interesting. But um, I can tell you that as soap makers, we can't really make claims other than the fact that soap cleans. But I just will tell you about the raw material of the Dead Sea clay or the Dead Sea mud. And that is, it really makes the skin feel pretty awesome. This kind of slickness that your skin gets after dunking in the waters of the Dead Sea, which I got to do in Jordan many years ago. And I've never fragranced this with anything other than a essential oil blend, because I think that's the most appropriate thing for the quality, the spa-like quality that this soap gives. If you're curious about some of the properties of the Dead Sea or the Dead Sea clay itself, there are a lot of sites online or on YouTube that you could look at. It's pretty fascinating what minerals are in the waters and clay of the Dead Sea. And there are like gift stores around the, the Dead Sea area that sells products made of the Dead Sea mud. And I bought a little bit of that when I was there and when I came home and used it, I thought, geez, I should have bought more. So one day, when I go back, I'm certainly gonna get more. I don't remember what it was even. I don't, it might have been a lotion. All I know is that it felt really good. So other than that aspect of the ingredients, this soap smells amazing. I think I have about five different essential oils in it. And I love the scent. And I got one more cut. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for all the good wishes about my back. It's almost better. Not quite. But I'm going on walks, which is a good thing for that. So nice slow walks. Still doing the things that I really love to do, like making soap. And let's see, one more cut here. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Also appreciate the thumbs up. And this is my Instagram too where I posted a lot of my travels. And we'll see you next time, right? Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.